hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT. And I'm IT Explosive. I'm shooting man on sticks. I have the sticks. And we're playing Madden 19, Daisy B Bread. Daisy Bread. <laughs> Daisy Bread. There he is. <laughs> I'll right. talk about him in a minute, Trent oh, no, Taylor. We got something for that. Woo! Are you playing that Austin Desperados franchise? As always, playing offense only, simming that. Simming the D. Using that balanced playbook. Mm -hmm. So, Taylor was a player on our team who wanted more money. He yeah. was a money hungry mofo. And you know what we do to a money hungry mofo. We kick him off the team. Goddamn right. And now he plays for the Raiders. We are going to bury these bitches yep. behind 7 Eleven. The son will pay for the sins of the father. Exactly. And guess what else? What? We traded Sutton. What did we get Glutton for him? For we got a first round motherfucking pick. Is that good? The, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. It's like one of the top like 30 players in the draft, man. I mean, yeah, but like, is, like, is it good though? <laughs> yeah, it's good though. It seems like we traded him for like intent. Yeah. Well, because yeah, I mean the guy we draft. I mean the guy we draft could be trash. So that's what I'm saying. Like, do we? I don't know. Do I don't know, dude. Well, why don't we just destroy <laughs> these guys? We'll take the desperado away. We'll start BMing on them immediately. Oh yeah, man. Because fuck the Raiders. Yeah, they're harboring a traitor. Harboring a in traitor. their midst. They tried to. St why do we both have black jerseys on? What are you talking about? They have white pants. We have black pants. We have gray, gray pants. <laughs> They have white pants. We have gray. we have red socks. You can see. All right, you can all right. clearly see I'm the red. I'm just gonna have to look at everybody's socks as we or move forward. Numbers. How can I most make them pay? Oh my god! <laughs> I guess you could just shoot them on the field. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> That'd be the desperado way. Well, the desperado right? way. I think I'm gonna steal as much food off their kids' plates as I can. Yeah, you gotta I'm get... giving out all the scoops, dude. You I'm know, getting... we had an episode about 31 flavors. We're no, gonna do 78 no, we're not. Flavors. No, we we're are not. We're not naming them all. You're damn right we are not. I couldn't even think of 31 flavors. Dude, I would ever think of 78 flavors. I never want to do that episode ever again. Well, we only did it once. Yeah, I'm glad. We don't have to tribute that episode. This, we already tributed the episode we lost. Oh. Woo. You know what? I think it's time. It's time for what? To bring out the big guns? It's time to make them all pay for their transgressions. Jonas, we could make this the best episode ever if you'd come out of the closet live on YouTube. <laughs> Except <laughs> there's no closet to come out of. What do you mean? You're in a closet somewhere. Something's in the closet. Something's it don't have to be your homosexuality. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about anything. Anything? Can we just make something up? Can I just make something up? Can we just uh, make something up that I'm coming out of the closet about so, like, so it makes good videos? Yeah, sure. Jonas secretly likes... No, don't, no, you're not making it up for me. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> what? What? Merry Christmas, motherfucker. Let's stop that right there. It's, it's February. Yeah. It's Christmas in my mind. Okay. So what do you... What's your... Now we're losing because of you. Because of me? Yep. You tried to put a word in my mouth. I'm not trying to put any words. I'm not trying to put anything in you your mouth, buddy. Say, you better not put anything in my mouth. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you to come out of the closet Why with you your secret. you come out of the closet about something, man? Uh... Okay. Oh, rainbow socks. Uh, what? <laughs> the rainbow socks were supporting the Kiki. <laughs> You're wearing a pride socks today? Yeah, we got the pride socks on. Cause wow, we're Jonas, what could I come out of the closet with? Let's see. I, I yeah, got dude, I don't have see. anything. Uh, wow. Um, I uh, work in the healthcare oh, industry. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Did you see that? I, uh... Oh, he tried to fucking wrangle him down. I've got Dance it. on his neck. I've got it. I'm coming out of the closet, guys. I drive a Nissan Altima. Oh, shit. I said it, Jonas, on stream. And I'm glad I got it out. <laughs> I hear your voice cracking. It's okay. No, because, Jonas, seriously, they need to know that I drive a 2017 Nissan Altima. <laughs> Get that best cry out. And I love it. <laughs> it has 35,000 miles on it. I'm not ashamed anymore. Ooh, maybe we should set a rushing record today. <laughs> Jonas, I don't even like Putin. Ooh, friends, did you see all them sweet moves? All right, Jonas, your turn. <laughs> since, since we're sharing our deepest, darkest secrets. Ooh, I have a college degree. 
Tell us, get the, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not embarrassing at all. You see what he did? He holstered his guns out and thrusted. <laughs> okay. It was a good. Um, That's not embarrassing. I like sand volleyball. Oh, man, yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, I know, right? Honestly, you should have kept that shit to yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> you really Holy shit. Have just kept that shit so to yourself. sad inside because you all God know that. God damn man. it, man. I don't even know if I can associate with you now. You know I play sand volleyball. I know it, but they didn't have to know. Now yeah. everybody knows. And now everybody knows. I came out of the closet. I play oh sand volleyball. God. Jesus. Jonas, man, some things are better left unsaid. Yeah, you're just saying. No, that's, that's that's fine, Jones. You do play sand volleyball. Yeah. With chicks, though. And dudes. Okay, man. I tried to chicks make it cool dudes. for you. I tried to make you a Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I would I like, like playing volleyball. I can't help it. You like ever... driving your Nissan Altima. Don't don't shame me for my fucking <laughs> fun things. I don't even know. I can't. I've never learned to read. <laughs> That was, that was all right, Jonas. I'm not mad at that. You ask me that's true. No, it went out of it. Jonas, you ever fuck on the beach? No, I never have. No? I would imagine it would be bad for both parties, because once sand gets involved, it would, like, grit up everything. No, usually you don't hit the sand, man. That shit's filthy, honestly. Like, sand is literally just, like, fine dirt. Yeah, but, like, it, like fucking on the beach, you're going to get sand in your parts. Yeah, but you just don't, you just, like, bend her over or something, dude. Oh, like you don't like lay down on the, yeah, dude. On the ground. I don't really fucking dig sand anyway. But I like sand volleyball, but I don't like sand in things. Yeah, sand is gross, man. It's just like I said, it's just like granulated dirt, dude. It's gross. Like you can't clean it unless you like <laughs> scoop it and wash it. And I don't then... think, I don't know, man. Like I don't think like if I was a female and somebody was like, hey, we should have sex on a blanket in the beach. I'd be like. I'm not getting sand in my vagina. Well, Jonas, what do you do when your balls like dragging up against the sand and just Dude. like kicking sand up into her or something? What kind of fuck? How are you fucking this chick? Dude, sand. Is it's it gets you like just go to the beach, you end up with sand in your crotch, dude. You don't even get in the sand, somehow it's in your crotch. I'm just saying, man, if you're careful, the vulva is like a good three inches from the from the ground, and if you put a blanket down. I don't know I how, how your testicles, on a blanket. dude, I'm going to have to see your dick to see how this is working for you, because I don't understand. This is just an excuse for you to see my penis. <laughs> just, you shame me for, for liking volleyball? I, didn't, I was just kidding. That I was know. a joke. But, but the sand thing, fucking on the beach, yeah, I'm definitely giving you some shit for that. Because I, I have fucked I on just, the beach before. You have? Absolutely. I have not. I don't think I would. Jonas, come on, man. I'm a Chad. I'm a Chad this is in your sheep's favorite word. You've been using it a lot in the last like four episodes. I'm a Chad in sheep's clothing. It's only been like three episodes. L last week I may have said it in two episodes, and maybe like this one, two episodes. Yeah, week. but it's more. We've done 700 videos, and you haven't mentioned this at all. I know, Jonas. I have to come with new meme material oh, because new memes. yeah, the, you know, I'm I'm the one, the cool dad who gives you a sip of beer. You're the did you do your homework, dad? You know, every time you say Chad, I think of uh, the old guy from the All Talk commercials. No idea what you're yeah, talking dude. about. I, I'm assuming that was he the guy that went cha-ching, cha-ching. That was Seth Green. No. Yeah, it was. Was it? The Riley's cha-ching commercial was Seth Green. He had red hair then. All right, I don't know who that is either. Seth, you so fucking know who <laughs> Seth Green know. is. Robot chicken, bro. I feel like that's not right, though. Look it up. Cha-chunk. Yeah, that guy. All right, if you say so. Yeah, dude. Good Every time him. you question me and you look something up, I'm right. But I refuse to look up half the stuff, which means the world will never know. Ooh, uh, but yeah, ooh. man, fucking on the beach ain't bad. I've definitely done that a couple times. Uh, I would not suggest fucking in public, though. Because like there's where? always a chance you would get caught. Well, that's who cares about getting caught. Whoa. All right, Jonas. Now we're coming out of the closet <laughs> I mean, with some real shit so here. So, like, you don't care about getting sand down your dick or in the vagina, but because you care if somebody watches you have sex? It's literally unlikely to happen to the extent where either party would suffer any... Uh, Ill effects? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. There's not going to be like, any... But you're, like, you're like afraid that someone's going to walk in on you boning. If you're in public, yeah. That always concerns me. Why? Uh, what's going to happen? <laughs> Whoa. 
I'm just saying it's like you're out there getting it, and usually if I'm getting it, my attention is on the young lady and, and myself and yeah, right. our mutual shared enjoyment okay. of this, uh, what do you call it? Coitus? Yeah, but when it's both people are participating parties and they both agree to it. Consenting? Consenting act. <laughs> That's okay, the word I was right. looking for. So I'm not usually paying attention, and I'm out there in public, and then, oh, lo and behold, a park ranger comes up. Oh, well, I mean, like getting caught by the law or getting caught by some dude or I don't or want woman. some dude catching me either looking at my junk. What do you care? Really, Jonas? You dude, if I, was in, if I was banging out in public somewhere and someone was like, what are you doing? I'd be like, fucking leave us be. Why do I care if some random fucking person walks in on me having sex? If they're the ones that have to walk... Oh my god, this team is trash. <laughs> god, I'm so glad that we're yes. fucking them. He will feel the shame that he comes from challenging the Desperados. Yeah, I know. He wanted more money. He, he oh, wanted... look, you're doing the money yeah, thing. Dude, he's like, like oh, he wanted money. money. He didn't want wins. He didn't want rings. Yeah, He know, wanted right? money. God damn. Yeah, dude, I mean... I but mean, yeah. I, okay, so if you caught like some people having yeah. sex in public, what are you gonna do? turn around and go the other way, or I'd be like, get them, and then fucking walk out or something? Like, yeah, I don't know, dude. I'd be like, good you, for you guys. You wouldn't call the police on them? Fuck no. It's illegal, Jonas. It's illegal. Have you ever done anything illegal? <laughs> <laughs> Every day of my life, motherfucker. <laughs> So, like, it's like, whatever, dude. I'll let you at home guess what that might be. Uh, no, it's not child pornography, you fucker. No, why would you even put I, that out I there? Was, uh, yeah, why would you even put that out there? I, you're Jesus. putting it out there. Yeah, dude, I, like, what would you do if you caught two people having sex out in the public? Yeah, I guess you're right, Jonas. I wouldn't care. Right, like, Probably like watching beat up. No, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, they're they. It's a free I country. Mean, if they're doing it out in public, they have to not give a shit if they're caught. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, nobody. The no, the woman never wants to get caught. Well, yeah. I'm as I mean, men like goes out so they get caught. It's like the thrill of like maybe you get caught. Mm. Fuck it. You know what, man? You're sounding like you're way too comfortable with this. I'm just not. I was not expecting this type of behavior. <laughs> you didn't think I'd you. be like, whatever? No. Like, I'm dude. not going to like just go out to the park in front of everyone, but if you're like. It's kind of feeling like that. No, dude. It's no. kind of feeling a little no, like no, that. No. no, I'm not saying that you go out of your way to get caught. Mile, like, Mile High Club? Dude, where the fuck are you going to do that? Them bathrooms are so small. I am not a small man. I was just asking. Or a friend. I mean, I. It's not that I wouldn't do it. I just think the logistics are fucking impossible. <laughs> I mean, if you get it in, it counts. <laughs> it I just, mean, I get like one thrust, and you're good. Like, yeah, okay, man. I did it. I got. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> did he get the touchdown? No, he did. <laughs> Call time out, though. Jesus. Yeah, like it's like those bathrooms are. It's hard enough to go in there and use the bathroom, let alone bring hey. two people in there and try to fucking do something. All I'm saying is you can play erotic twister until you get penetration, and guess what? You get your badge. <laughs> you get so it's your... not the completion. It's just the... Yeah, dude. You just want to earn the merit badge, man. Just earn the badge. Like... You've done that before with a girl where you just wanted to earn a merit badge. I, earn, I, I guess. I don't... There's a couple ones, man. There's your there's your red wings. Oh, like, oh, I got... Like, I was like, what merit badge are you talking about? Hey, yeah, man. There's a couple stripes a man has to get. Oh, there's yeah? Your red wings, your brown wings. Oh, Jesus. And your Mile High Club? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mile High for, Club I mean, is definitely... the women and the men. Mile High Club is one of them. There's your public merit badge. I didn't know there was... I, like, there are you telling me that these are merit badges is something... Like, I've never, like... Yeah, but you've heard of Red Wings and Brown Wings, though. Oh, yeah, and I've heard of the Mile High Club. Okay, is, what is there, like I've never heard of the public sex. I thing. imagine that there is one for it. Maybe I am just don't know the nomenclature. I got but, you. But, yeah, these are all merit batches that, at one point in time, you're going to be like, let's just do it just to say we did it. Oh, I There's got There's the you. anal badge. <laughs> there it is. It I exists. I didn't realize there were so many badges. There are definitely guys that have fucked. Or, and women who have had anal sex 
just so they could say just they've so they, done it. they can just say I've done it. Yep, just so they can say. Was there like the threesome badge, the foursome badge, the one hundred percent? Okay, all right, one hundred percent. What other badges do you think there are out there? There is the multiples in one day badge, which I do not suggest. I'm the, not uh, the the car badge, like doing it in a car. Yeah, that's a badge. Okay. Yeah. Somewhere well, very uncomfortable, like the backseat of Volkswagen from fucking mall rats. Remember that? Yeah. Fucking. Uh, that one's one that, that most people get out of the way early, and they're just like, all right, I've done it before. I don't need to do that again. It's like a learning experience, you know? But it's I a right to pass I guess a lot I of never these. really thought about it like that, though. Yeah, man. You've got a. It's like an achievement. It's like your lifetime achievement. You've got a couple your stripes. Your sex lifetime achievement. Yeah, you've got what, a couple stripes. What I know else you would do. they be? What else would they be? Let's, let's try to fucking. <laughs> We're going to discuss sexual merit badges. I guess I didn't realize this was like a topic, but let's just fucking topic it out. Well, I'm glad I could tease it out for you. Uh, let's see. Um, up. There's the uh, demographic badges. Oh, like you like uh, you've hit different different uh... different ethnicities. Oh, okay, All and right. that goes for everybody, white, black, whatever your race is. It is a badge. Okay, <laughs> it All is right. it's for goddamn sure. Okay, definitely. I can see that one. Oh yeah, I know you can. So like, are all the different <laughs> sexual partic- the sexual positions badges? Ooh, like if you do like some like weird fucking like. Kama Sutra, like, crossing weird leg pose shit. No, I think I think the positional badges are limited to Orify and Orify alone. Okay, all right. Because I don't really see, like, positions, you can just, you can pull those out of your ass, you know? But okay, I got you. if you can find a chick that's going to let you fuck her in the butt or who's going to, like, peg you... That Pegged those are the, those are badges right there. Okay, all right. There's nothing wrong with getting pegged. I don't personally like it. Hey, but... <laughs> Three thirty. We're, Jon- we're on our way up. Apparently, Jonas loves it. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it sounded like to me. I guess the, the time is everything, right? <laughs> Jonas loves the pegging. Oh shit! Yeah, but yeah. I, I guess I didn't realize. I mean, I don't know, dude. I guess I'm just oblivious to everything. I'm just I never like think about like oh the badges. Like, well, sh- this ain't some shit that normal people usually. I was think gonna about. say like I've, I've never like <laughs> sat down and been like well let me mark off a checklist there friends. Yeah, like, I want I want the people at home to seriously c- consider how many merit badges they have, and I am not advocating promiscuity. Are you not promiscuity? No, I don't want to do that. What I'm okay. saying is that every guy has a certain amount of badges that he needs to go to. You got to go to the Johto gym to beat the water boss. You got to <laughs> you got to go beat the Snorlax uh, shrine keeper. Oh, okay. I'm talking Pokémon at this point. I kind of got Did it. you? I knew who a Snorlax was. All right. Yeah, Johto gym. I don't know what that is. That's a gym and Oh, the Gary Harry just fucking flopped it down on him. Oh, he did orange justice into the block ball. <laughs> Fortnite test. Uh, Jesus. I really got to work on my orange justice. I've been working on it a Have little you? bit. I yeah. See it. Well, it's, you just saw it up oh, there. Okay, that was you. you uh, no, you was, are Gary Harry. No, but that's the I dance. I want to see you do it. You want to see me do it? I want to see you do all the dances. Uh, my floss is a little, a little bad, but I just don't like the way the floss looks. But the orange justice, if it's done properly, it's a pretty cool looking. Can you dance. whip, whip? Can you nanny? Can you whip? Yes, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> can that's, you do the hokey pokey? Can song you turn is, yourself around? That song is literally four years old. But yeah, yes, I, bet. I can I whip, true. whip. I can whip, whip, and nanny. Sounds good. <laughs> it's funny, man, because the whip came to like like a upsurge, man. It was crazy. It was everywhere. Is it really? Yeah. Everybody was whipping? Like, all you had to do was this punch the air and everybody freaked the fuck out dude oh, wow. and then it just over time it died just as quick as it became popular like the dab no nah, dab is still people prevalent. are still dabbing dude people are still dabbing to this day the dab shall never die really you think that it is a physical explanation point to put on anything kind of like yeet yeet that wheat yeah what <laughs> What? Tain that bread? You're using yeet wrong. Get that bread? No, dude. You uh, used yeet in the proper sense. No, 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 dude. Fucking, uh... Want, what? You ever heard get that bread? No. <laughs> there was a, 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 a similar one. It was yeet that wheat. Yeet that wheat? Yeah. 
Why don't you use wheat in a sentence for me? I don't know what yeet is. You don't know what yeet means? I guess not in your nomenclature. What do you mean? What does it mean in yeet that wheat? Cane that grain, dude. That is not what it means. (laughs) What is it then? You tell me. Yeet is like, uh, it's like if you just do something impulsive, then you yeet it. Okay. Or yote. Yote, yote. Yoted is the like the past form. Past okay, so it's like the the present past participle. Yeah, and shit. like he straight yoted into the river. He yoted, which means that he probably just jumped in. Okay. He was just like yeet and jumped in the river. He just yelled yeet and jumped in the river. Yeah, he's just doing okay. something impulsive and just like fuck it. I'm okay. yeet. It's like when you buy a new iPhone when you don't need one. No, <laughs> you want to yeet your bank account away for no good reason. Oh, bitch! Oh, dude, he's fucking destroying them today. He was just slapping thoughts down. Oh, it's time oh to eat God. Trent Taylor's kids' food. Oh my God, Trent Taylor, what are oh, you going to do? I hope they show him on the sideline crying. No, oh, man, he's going to have to go to the grocery store after this game. Yeah, dude, he wanted the, he wanted the money, but instead... <laughs> Instead, he didn't get the wins either. Yeah, exactly. You're not getting a ring this season, nope, Trent he's Taylor. he's not getting the ring. We're, I think we set a record for NFL rushing yards in this game. I uh, wouldn't be surprised. He, we he's tend been, to do that. Ellis has been balling out of control. Oh, oh man, they got him. That's yeah, right. that's he's, 383 yards. He's doing his thing. Yeah, dude, he's. I think like if you ran that many yards in a game, you'd be would tired. Like, yeah, <laughs> yes, you'd be tired. Absolutely. All right, just asking. Absolutely, you would be tired. Jonas, we talked about sexual merit badges. Uh, you brought them up. I didn't even know that was like what they were called. I mean, they're not called that. I kind of just made that up oh, okay. right now. But I mean. It is a thing. Jesus, man, they attacked me like fucking. <laughs> like neonness into a minority. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what is the word you said? Liam Neeson. Oh, Liam Neeson. A minority. I, said, I didn't know what the fuck you said. Yeah, man. You don't know about that story, oh, though. Oh, God, I don't. I asked you the other day. Yeah, you got to look up some news, man. I, I hear a lot of things, dude. I don't know. You hear a lot of stuff from me. Dude, I, I read a lot of stuff. Yeah, but how did you not hear about the Liam Neeson thing? Dude, I don't know. I don't follow racist news. <laughs> I mean, but it was everywhere. I, I don't, what did he do? Why don't you just tell the story, man? Oh, God. All it's, right, it's, fine. Can quick? Just yeah, I can make it quick. Give me a second here. All right, so Liam Neeson said that one of his his friends, who was a female, came to him. And she had she told Liam that she was raped by a black man. Okay. And he said that he was roaming the streets for about a week or two, just hoping that any black person would start some shit with him so that he could fucking kill them. Jesus Christ. So instead of blaming the person who committed the act, he decided to blame one aspect of that person wow, and that aspect dude. just happened to be skin color because it was convenient damn dude and Sounds the question like is is if it were a white guy would he go around looking for any white guy that he could kill because i guarantee he wouldn't have any trouble man no but damn, dude. that's what liam neeson did he admitted that in an interview and he was trying to like talk about the fact that he had growth but it's like my dude, you. That's not, that's <laughs> <racist> <laughs> fuck, dude. It's exactly what racism is. Right? It is blaming the aspect of one's color because you've had bad experiences with individuals. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, which tends to be the genesis of racism everywhere. Anyway. Absolutely. So, because if you don't know any better, that's the only experience you have with that race. That's, I mean, yeah. you, that's like, oh yeah, you assume or whatever. Yeah, I'm sorry, Devonte was mean to you in high school, but guess what? That's not a reason to be right. mad Devante at everybody. Devonte could have been Chinese. Devonte could have been <laughs> fucking Hispanic. Devonte could have been white. It doesn't matter. Yeah, man. You just like you take the fact yeah. that he was a black dude. Yeah, and, yeah. there's there's assholes in every race, creed, color, nationality. Oh, oh houseway, just pushing the bitches. Down. <laughs> no, he is making them fucking pay today, dude. He stopped. Look at this shit. He stopped, came back. He told him, look, you're a bitch. And then he turned around. <laughs> <and he fucking laughs> 
<laughs> oh shit, dude. Jesus. Dude. He turned around just to tell him he was a bitch. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what you do, right? <laughs> oh, he's oh, he so oh, suited. Oh my god. Don't, the NFL don't record. So hard. Don't I think he, I think I set the NFL record for rushing yards and for touchdowns oh in a game. God. 56 to 14. Dude. This is what happens when you defy the desperate oh, way. Dude. Trent Taylor has made them forever. Yeah, are yeah. They're Did you nemesis. hear about the controversy at the Grammys? Uh, when they cut that, off Drake's that, uh, microphone? That, that Drake like had made a comment about how you don't need an award to be considered like. Yeah. And they like cut his mic off on him. They're yeah, like, I did hear about that. It's like, damn, dude. They're like, what he was trying to say though is that you don't need a Grammy. Because if people are coming to see you, you're already winning. And well, that's right. true. And I get what he was saying. Yeah. Oh, the rainbow socks. Yeah. <laughs> Kiki. They just show up. Speaking of Drake. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like, it's like if he's like, yeah, I thought something like if people are singing your songs, people are coming to see you. Exactly. You're already a winner. If your hometown loves you. Exactly. Like, you don't need the grand. That was some uplifting like, shit. Yeah. I, I think but Drake they don't like that. an uplifting dude. <laughs> But they didn't like that. They're like, yep. wait a minute, you're trying to say I don't need this? They absolutely do. Yeah, they're like, no, no, we need Grammys are important. <laughs> Drake has a bunch of them. I know, man. right? He like Yeah, he's like, nah, dude, I ain't coming. Good for him, man. Yeah, Cardi B wanna fucking Dude. Don't even get me started on that shit. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. I and mean, you even like that, don't that album, don't you? I do like that album, but I'm not I'm not I'm not rocking Who with that. Who do you that. think should have won? Pusha? I'm not rocking with the fact that Cardi B won Rap Album of the Year when she don't write her own shit. She might have She might have should have won Album of the Year, but Rap Album of the Year, there were a better rap artist on that I list. I thought that uh, it was weird that Charles Gambino won Album of the Year for a song. He won Album of the Year? Album of the Year for This Is America. But he didn't have an album. Right. Absolutely. Huh. That's a little and he didn't show up to the award ceremony. That's a little tone deaf. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I ain't sure. Yeah, I was like, oh. I mean, it was a single. Who are you trying to placate there? I don't know. I don't man. know. And he didn't show up. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, fuck about the Grammys. I want to show this real quick. What are you showing us? Uh, what happens? Is it your dick? 484 yards and seven touchdowns. God damn. Yeah, Ellis wanted to not fail us. Dude, he's not human. Ellis took it personal that Trent Taylor left, and he wanted to show them that he was not messing around. So. Yeah, that's that is all the time away. we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe while you're at it. Lie to your friends. Tell them they should subscribe, too. But for Jonas, for TNT Dynamite, we... Or, or, or.